Hello and welcome to Select 10. We're halfway through the year, and the first quarter of 2023 brought us some of the best web series in every genre. Nearly all of the widely used streaming services have produced some excellent shows that you should definitely add to your watch list. And in order to keep the list limited to new titles, we did not include old favorites like From, Barry, and others that have made a comeback with new seasons. Also, make sure to let us know if there are any web series that we missed that need to be on this list, as well as how many of the suggested web series you have already watched and which ones you enjoyed most. Now let's start the video. Number 10. Wolf Pack. It is a supernatural mystery series created by Jeff Davis. The story commences during an enormous wildfire, which prompts a swarm of creatures to flee the forest and attack the children on the bus. That shockingly gruesome scenario left two students, Everett and Blake, with a mysterious bite and unusual side effects on their respective bodies. Then, there are the other two enigmatic teenagers, Harlan and Luna, orphan siblings, who experienced an identical wildfire disaster years ago and are maintaining a secret about their real identities. As the four get to know each other better and realize that wildfire has brought out a terrifying monster, they strive to find out who or what it is and why it is after them. The biggest drawback of the series is that there are far too many characters and side stories clashing for the audience's attention. But on the plus side, Wolfpack was successful in creating a captivating werewolf mythology that was unique from what had already been seen. Overall, the show is tempting, violent, and enigmatic, and it is fascinating to watch, especially if you enjoy werewolf-themed stories. Number 9. The Night Agent. It is an action thriller series created by Sean Ryan. This show came from nowhere and quickly rose to become the sixth most watched series on Netflix ever. This is a must-see if you enjoy shows like Jack Ryan or other action thrillers. The story revolves around federal administrator Peter Sutherland, who serves as an emergency line operator in the White House's cellar. However, his quiet desk job is dramatically disturbed when late at night the telephone rings, sending him into a risky conspiracy that eventually takes him to the highest ranks of authority, where he discovers a massive plot that involves an informer in the White House. In an effort to find the traitor and safeguard the country, he has to deal with uncertain circumstances, dishonest co-workers, and enigmatic soldiers who are relentlessly on his trail. The show's strongest quality is how well it brings its characters into focus and creates a sense of connection between viewers and the characters. The quick pace of the show, which is never-endingly thrilling, is what keeps viewers attached to their screens. Overall, The Night Agent is an elegant, intense suspense drama that will keep you engaged till it reaches its conclusion and is an absolute delight to watch. Number 8. Rabbit Hole. It is a spy thriller drama created by John Riqua. The plot centers on company detective John Weir, who is skilled at lying and destroying people. But in his final mission, a shadowy group pulls their backs on him and makes him pay by accusing him of an assassination. In the aftermath, he sees himself at the very center of a sinister conspiracy concerning powerful groups with the capacity to mislead people and weaken a free society, while he must put his faith in a group of odd friends to defeat enemies who wish to use our own information against us. The series explores how corporations manipulate and control people via data and monitoring. Each episode does a good job of advancing the suspense and keeping you interested in the following episodes. There are a number of unexpected surprises, but as the episodes go on, the underlying logic of the plot starts to fall apart. However, you shouldn't let that stop you from viewing it because it has more positive aspects than negative ones. Number 7. The Griffin. It is a fantasy adventure series directed by Sebastian Marca and Max Zale. The story is set in 1994 and centers on Mark, a young man who discovers the heritage of his family links to an alternative universe where the demonic griffin, a thirsty for power creature, lives. Thomas, Mark's elder brother, introduces him to the Black Tower, the place where the monstrous creature resides, and informs him about the demonic entity that inhabits it and the danger it brings to mankind. However, when her brother Thomas goes missing, Mark summons all of his courage and embarks on an adventurous rescue mission to locate him. Can he protect his brother, and more importantly, can he kill the beast? Well, I won't spoil things for you, and you can watch how Mark's quest unfolds. Despite a few drawbacks, like the passable Black Tower world and its limited screen presence, it is a very nice fantasy story with a gloomy atmosphere, satisfactory visual effects, and interesting set pieces that you should not miss. Number 6. The Law According to Lydia Poet. It is a historical crime drama created by Guido Iuculano, David Orsini. 
I can tell that very few people have probably watched this one, and if you haven't, you're missing out on one of the best Netflix shows of 2023. The show is based on the real-life tale of Italy's first female attorney, Lydia Poet, and stars Matilda de Angelis as Lydia. The show unfolds in Italy at the end of the 19th century, a time when only men were allowed to practice law. The major narrative revolves around the young Lydia Poet who supports her brother, Enrico, in acquiring cases and advocating for poor residents, while also aiming to be a legal practitioner herself. The show focuses on the incidents in which Lydia investigates criminal acts while defending her ability to practice law. The show does at first remind you of Sherlock Holmes and Enola Holmes stories, but it is actually extremely fantastic, especially when compared to Enola Holmes cases. Overall, it is an appealing historical story with a vintage Italian backdrop and brilliantly crafted criminal cases. The only drawback is that there are only six episodes, leaving the audience wanting more. Number 5. The Company You Keep. It is a crime drama series created by Julia Cohen. It's a sexy show, but not the kind you're thinking of. In other words, it is a truly romantic show with realistic chemistry among the main leads and a consistently entertaining and engaging story. The plot centers on scam artist Charlie, who, along with his family, owes gangster boss Daphne Finch money. However, his already dangerous life became even more risky when he encountered Emma, a covert CIA agent, and the two fell in love after spending an unforgettable evening together. However, this is where things start to get crazy because neither of them has any idea of the other's background or place of employment, which is what makes their romance so interesting. However, as Emma looks into the deadly criminal and Charlie works to build up the family business, their goals become more and more interconnected, placing them on opposing paths at work. To keep the plot moving, the show shifts between an intimate romance, a family drama, and so forth. Each of the plot's twists and turns adds up, and the lingering doubts about just how far Charlie and Emma can stay together add an irresistible amount of tension that keeps you on the edge. Number 4. Mrs. Davis. It is a science fiction comedy series created by Tara Hernandez and Damon Lindello. This show's concept is so weird and bizarre that you won't be able to stop watching it. It's a story about artificial intelligence versus a nun that takes the viewers on an epic comic journey they have never experienced before. The main character of the show is Sister Simone, who, after being removed from her convent, promises to kill Mrs. Davis, a diabolical machine learning algorithm that is believed to be to blame for her exile. She seeks retribution as a result, but makes a deal with the framework and ventures into a dangerous world of secrets and hidden groups in search of the Holy Grail, the one thing that can entirely shut down the machine. On this adventure, Simone teams up with her dishonest ex-boyfriend, Wiley, and they fight a number of strange and fearsome opponents in an effort to obtain the Holy Grail. You won't find a show more unique and distinctive than this one this year. Your curiosity is immediately grabbed by its rare, extraordinary, and entertaining story with a sci-fi touch. And as far as the plot is concerned, one must enter this show anticipating the unexpected because it actually differs from anything you have previously witnessed. Number 3. Silo. It is a science fiction dystopian series based on the Wool series of novels by author Hugh Howey. The story takes place in a polluted post-apocalyptic environment where the remaining human beings stay and operate underground in a huge silo while following a complicated set of laws that appear to be there to safeguard them from the poisonous and decaying world above ground. The main story focuses on a technician named Juliet who is tasked with conducting an inquiry into an employee's terrible accident. During the course of her inquiry, she unearths shocking secrets that threaten the fundamental core of their closed community. As suspicion grows, rebels are dispatched outside for cleaning purposes, but are unable to get back to the silo and appear to die there. All of this is shown on screens on the inside, but could this be true, or is there something else going on? As the plot develops, Silo skillfully reveals solid amounts of information to demonstrate what's really happening, but then ties that up in further doubts and mystery. This expanding feeling of suspicion is part of what keeps this story so engaging. However, at times the narrative seems a bit slow and there are a few plot holes, which is a little frustrating. However, these are tiny flaws that do not take away from the overall enjoyment. Overall, Silo thrives as one of the best stories of the year and an absolute must-see show for anyone looking for a satisfactory mystery or suspense show. Number 2. The Last of Us. It is a post-apocalyptic action-adventure series based on the 2013 video game The Last of Us, developed by Naughty Dog. Game adaptations typically don't work out so well, but this series was flawless. 
This show dominated during its premiere and is now one of HBO's most successful shows of all time. If you have already played the game, you probably already know how the plot will pan out, but even if you aren't familiar with it, you may still enjoy this magnificent journey. It is not exactly a copy of the game, rather, it explores the original story without much improvisation and implements a number of other fresh additions that greatly enhance the plot and character development. The story takes place in a post-apocalyptic setting where people have been transformed into zombie-like monsters by a kind of parasitic fungus infection. The narrative centers on Joel Miller, a survivor charged with delivering a teenager named Ellie to a laboratory controlled by an opposition rebel group. Following this, Joel and Ellie set off on a hazardous adventure and encountered fearsome creatures while trying to reach their destination, which may contain the key to saving the Earth. Overall, it is an expertly, patiently crafted video game adaptation that offers an incredible new post-apocalyptic world, packed with intense insane survival elements that is worth getting into. Number 1. Beef. It is a 2023 dark comedy series created by Korean director Lee Sung Jin. The narrative is so simple that one wonders how they managed to create such an amusing story based on such a small scenario. Beef turns the concept of an unplanned encounter into strong entertainment. The story takes place in modern-day Southern California and centers on two people who, following a road rage situation, let their frustration take over their minds and behaviors, causing havoc in their professional as well as personal lives. After the incident, they behave in a very bizarre manner to get revenge on one another, which results in further horrific and catastrophic occurrences. Over the course of the 10 episodes, their friendly chemistry heats up and chills down, before suddenly exploding into craziness. Although beef is mostly about vengeance, it occasionally bubbles up as a humorous depiction of the connections between money and race and social criticism. The humor and story execution are both excellent, but Steven and Ali Wong's performances really make the show stand out. It is both one of the best Netflix series ever and the best show of 2023. That's it for today, thank you for watching this video. And do subscribe our channel to see more videos related to movies and series suggestions.